We're going to get right to our top story now. A Temple business owner has put up a sign warning others to steer clear of downtown. This after he says the city's sewer backed up multiple times. Now, his warning comes as the city begins its um, uh, uh, the imagining of downtown and the community event to get uh, feedback about the area's future. But are the sewer backup issues in question widespread or are they totally isolated? Six News reporter Andrew Moore helps track down the big picture for us tonight. Andrew? Yeah, James Furch says he spent thousands of dollars fixing the two uh, buildings here behind me here that he owns on Main Street and Temple. And he has documents to show exactly how much he's spent. But after looking at this and looking at other issues in downtown, it does not seem to be like a widespread issue. So all this sheetrock through this whole building has been replaced multiple times. James Furch says he spent too much money cleaning out his buildings due to sewer water backups, and he still has the bills to prove it. Here's for floors. $17,000. He said he made a damage claim to the city at the end of last year, but it wasn't properly evaluated. So he put up this sign warning other businesses of the issues. It says, don't buy property in downtown Temple. And he says he spent over $100,000 in repairs. Furch says he wants downtown to grow, but doesn't want this to happen if the pipes can't support other businesses. If your infrastructure is not there to, to hold it, What's the point? You're going to have a lot of angry people. But just how widespread is this problem? Furch was able to name two other property owners that have a similar issue. And when I reached out to Main Street Program Manager for Temple, Dan Keller, he also knew of only three property owners across downtown having the issues. We also asked Temple Public Works to explain the sewer line issues, but did not get a response this afternoon. Furch said the city did offer to install a grinder pump to address the issue, but he worries the wording of their offer will also let them off the hook for any damages, and he says that's not good enough. When I went through it, it basically is saying if I sit here and sign this, and the sewer's still back up in here, they're not responsible. First says the city did send out a, uh, another insurance adjuster today to that property after he had that sign up. Meanwhile, we had been asking the city for a response. We, are, we were eventually told they were going to have a consultant come and look at the wastewater infrastructure in the downtown area, but of course that has not happened yet. Live in Temple, Andrew Moore, Six news. All right. Thanks for the update, Andrew. Appreciate it.